Namaste. This is Nikla here from Pujas Daughter. Today's video is all about uh, those anxious parents who keep calling me. Uh, basically to say that they send their uh, children abroad to study for higher education. They spend lakhs of rupees because the son or the daughter aspired to go abroad and wanted to make a career. Somehow they are not able to get a job and they are back to India and they don't know how to go about it. And the ROI factor, where it, like you know they invested a lot of money to have them study and then in India, in rupees, if they have to earn, they'll take ages to recover what they have spent. So, if this is what you're going through, or your children are going through, or your near and dear ones are going through, uh, kind of anxiety about career, first of all, before sending your children abroad, assess whether that is the right thing to do. Just because they ask for it, and it's also prestigious to send your children to a, a good university abroad, doesn't mean that is the best thing for them. See, uh, you know, the harsh reality is that once they study, they should be able to sustain themselves financially and also be able to provide for the family. Now, how they spend their money and things like that is secondary. It means between the, the children and the parents. But when parents call me, they're really very disturbed to see that the son or the daughter is still struggling to get a job and make, you know, trying to make the ends meet. I am addressing only those people in this video. Astrology is one such wonderful tool which will help in assessing whether the stream of education that you choose is the best thing. In fact, I would say right from schooling, you know, yeah, okay, to some extent schooling, you know, you need to allow the child to blossom and come out with his or her own ideas as to what they want to study. So the child wants to study. So, you know, it's very common that in, in the schooling uh, days, the child will say, I want to be a, join the army or I want to be a pilot. I want to be this, I want to be that. But then as they grow, the whole thing changes, you know, it changes with time and with the options which are there. You know, you get multiple options to study various things and children do get fascinated and they want to make their dream career. Now, after all of this, if you're still feeling that, you know, Somewhere you need direction, your son or daughter needs direction, you need to consult to see what is the core area in which the career is going to be set. And accordingly, uh, we can give suggestions as to what course they could choose and which country they should go and study. See, that is the beauty of astrology, you know. When I look at a chart, I know exactly uh, which is the country that is going to work best for this person. And, uh, you know, whether it is for education or for uh, job or for something generally. So, you know, we can tell go in the eastern direction from this place of work. So, we usually say like that. So, we give options of different countries from the region where they are located, where they were born, to which region suits them best in terms of career, best in terms of education. And then you can mentally have, you know, have your own mental makeup, prepare yourself accordingly and just go and explore the world. It's all about doing things right so that it works for you in the long run. See, basically, today, main problem has been sustainability in anything. Anything. See, education, one year, masters, two years, masters, they do. And then what? They're suddenly hanging. They're looking for a job. They become so desperate. And then the, every month, maintaining themselves abroad is so difficult. So, parents are very much under pressure, financial pressure. And then, uh, you know, every month, I have parents calling me and telling me, Ma'am, what, what do I do? My son is still not about a job. My daughter is still struggling to get a job. Uh, and I have to help them sustain their, it's getting very expensive and difficult and I call them back and then I look at the chart and say no actually the, there is a possibility that they can get a job there, they just need to be more patient and give some more time and that's where the parents lose patience and then they just quickly call their children back and say come, come back to India and work here for some time, we will see that later. So basically this, all this is happening and there is so much stress going on in between this, this whole phase of uh, education and job it should be like a very smooth transition and that smooth transition can happen when you take divine help and also astrological help astrology is totally scientific divine help i mean in terms of prayers and uh, you know invoking god's grace for you to sustain that so basically uh, and you also need a lot of patience so this is exactly the point so patience here what am i referring to is at least uh, in the chart i can give you an indicative time to say when you're going to get a job so until then you be patient. So then the parent is also prepared and the child is also prepared. Quite often, uh, I also see parents are very hesitant to advise their children to take up 
spiritual practices for example simple things i would recommend like you know do a job one mala like one mala of 108 beads you just take and then you do some chants related to ganesha or whatever is best suited for you as per your chart and the mantra will be so simple that anybody can even a, a ukg student can do it but you know parents find it so difficult to convince their children to do it i don't understand what this inhibition is all about but i just feel that being educated being modern does not mean that you should be away from spirituality or you should not um, uh, welcome spirituality into your life spirituality should be the core of your being it should fuel all aspects of your life that is precisely the point you dress up any which way you want you eat any kind of food you like you do whatever you want but the core thing that will fuel you um, and propel you to you know flourish and blossom in everything is always spirituality so uh, adopting spiritual practices is very important and even if you feel that your children are not going to listen to you you should be able to convince them or have a conversation to tell them listen this is the benefit of doing this and this is how you are right now without doing it please do it and see and if they don't agree you leave it to them but at least make an effort to if not convince at least tell them the facts that this is what it is and you need to do this and this is what is best for you and then somewhere when they get desperate definitely they will lean forward and some children are very good they quick learners and they learn fast they say okay let me explore what's wrong i don't have to tell the whole world that i'm doing jab but if i'm doing jab and if it's helping me i'm getting benefit with it so in result i'm going to enjoy so that's precisely my point so you need to really uh, educate your children from the beginning from the school days to be inclined spiritual so that as they grow the growth is very seamless like no obstacles nothing and it's it's beautiful see i i know so many children like that who are um, from the very beginning very spiritually oriented who are at the same time very modern who are very uh, i mean they're so good in all aspects and you see they're good in excellent in studies in, or academics they're very good in sports uh they go they put it socializing they have a very good friend circle and they're very well mannered at the same time very spiritual because of their spiritual backing all aspects of their life is very smooth so i feel that somewhere uh, the parents play a very key role in educating their children about spiritual practices about astrology so please use these tools these are all given to us by our ancient rishis and and it's also a shastra so it's all proven and everything is based on calculations and uh, uh, quite a lot of intuition also so you know when you take this kind of help you know where you're heading there's no you don't have to say there is light at the end of the tunnel so i mean there is no dark tunnel at all so you know if not now later there's so much clarity you see what i'm saying like um like for example you don't have a job assume you don't have a job you've done your studies and uh, and you will say okay mate last told me i'll go i'll get a job in Uh, November and right now we are in July, so I'll relax till November, or I'll I'll learn something new till November, or maybe I'll do some small odd jobs till November, or maybe I'll do something productive till November. So that's how, that kind of clarity you'll have unless and until you have this clarity from July to November is going to be hell for you and your parents. So you'll always be anxious. When am I going to get a job? Every month this pressure will be there. So you'll lose a lot of time, a lot of money in just worrying about your present. and the future so uh, i hope i made myself very clear in this so the takeaway is very simple consult an astro- astrologer a good astrologer anybody whom you trust uh, and get advice on what is the best career option for you before you decide to go abroad before you decide on the university the second thing is try to assess and see like assuming that you really are hell bent on doing science and that is not the best thing for you uh, so see how much you are swimming against the current talk to your astrologer and check is it like way too much of a struggle or it's a good little bit of struggle but you can you know you can still manage kind of so that clarity you get third thing is check when you're going to get a job what and where you want to settle so even before you go you should know where you need to settle whether you want to settle abroad or you want to come back which are the countries conducive for you for example if your dream destination is us and you're actually destined to settle down in singapore then what is the kind of approach you need to take You, you should look at universities in singapore and you know probably go there that's what i'm trying to say so if your approach itself is wrong 
you study in US, come back, go to Singapore, and then you have to say the Singapore dollar and the US dollar, there's so much discrepancy. When am I going to earn? You know, this kind of pressure you can avoid. So basically, astrology can teach you many ways how to form your career. And for those who have already formed your career, I have made one video on Rajesh Yamana Homa. That's a very powerful thing to increase your charisma, efficiency, uh, leadership skills, and power to you know, be able to influence others. So that video you can watch. But this is all about forming your career. How do you, the formative years, what is it that you can get from your astrologer and how you need to form your career. That's exactly my point in this video. So you can always consult me through my website, Thank you so much. Namaste.